name is Terrence. This is uh, my brother Kevin. Hi. And we're the brothers behind the fashion accessories brand, you say? Uh, basically, it's a brand that combines our, um, our Western uh, upbringings with our uh, Korean heritage. Okay, so we, uh, we first came to Korea in uh, February 2011 and we were uh, living in China at the time. So we decided to come visit Korea because we haven't been here since like middle school, I guess. And then uh, we originally started a, or attempted to start a shoe brand in China. So we kind of just came to Korea to check it out and then um, we saw a lot of Korean inspirations that we were never exposed to back home. Um, in terms of Korean fashion, um, I think overall Koreans are like pretty well dressed. Um, but what inspires us more is like traditional like Korean architecture. Like even like an area like this, like the Hanok style buildings and all that. And like every time we go to like a traditional area, even outside of Seoul, that's when we get most of our inspiration. So how we got to Issei was it was pretty uh, kind of like a natural yeah natural progression kind of thing like and uh, when we came here we were uh, doing the whole tourist thing checking out like you know the major spots in Seoul and then we went to uh, Insadong and we're just kind of like has like, it's touristy but it has like the cultural aspects of Korea more than very traditional yeah there is. and then uh, we were just walking around one day and then we saw like uh, a lot of monks that we didn't you know we never saw before and they're all wearing the like, traditional monk clothing. This one guy was wearing uh, this monk style backpack with like knotted straps on the side and we thought that was like a really cool detail. So like we were just walking around that area and then uh, we walked into a store, we saw those backpacks and uh, we decided just to buy one because like the design was really nice. And then um, we got introduced to organic dyeing from a, a fashion designer in Korea that we were working with temporarily. And then I think we were just sitting down one day and we were like, okay, if um, monk style backpack, if it was, you know, had a more modern cut, more modern design. Like uh, better fabrics, yeah. better materials, exactly. that we thought. Like, it was something we wanted to The whole thing about like um, monk uh, dressed in like clothing that hasn't changed in like hundreds of years. Him like walking around in a city like Seoul, that's like so like advanced, you know. Like the whole clash of like old and new. Like that's kind of like what our brand's about too. Like that really inspired us as well. So I think like, like yeah, I've seen that monk, that's what started like the whole concept of Issei. And then we were working with um, a Korean designer who was using organic dye at the time. So we made uh, a sample of the monk sack and then we also made um, a sample of our M2 backpack. Like, okay, let's start a new brand uh, pushing this entire concept. So uh, yeah, that's what pretty much Issei started. want to kind of do our like own entrepreneurial venture so yeah when we started Issei it was pretty much with our own like money and savings and we had a little bit of money so we kind of used all of that into making like a small mini collection of our of two bag styles the, the Monk and the M2 and after we sold that um, we pretty much had no income coming in at that point and we were like just kind of like struggling and grinding trying to make the brand work so uh, from that point on we realized that we really needed a outside investment so and we, we went to yeah. Korea for like maybe two, two to three months, just like meeting as many people as we can, right. trying to pitch our concept. Yeah. And uh, we were actually like a week away from going back to the States and like right. finding a real job. But uh, we approached one more, one more company and um, yeah, like an opportunity came up and we decided to work with them. So now uh, they gave us a chance to kind of pursue Ise and uh, see what happens with it. So, yeah, yeah pretty lucky. Yeah, we were lucky. I really took that lucky opportunity. Today. Like, we had no idea yeah, what yeah, we were doing. Yeah, we didn't know what we were doing. We, just we had no design it. background. Yeah, no we're design just like, background. So, like, there was a, a learning curve. Huge learning Trying curve. to get this whole, you know, brand started. Like, even, like, even just, even, like, going from the design step until, like, final Production. sample, yeah, yeah, that was a huge learning curve in itself, like... And also, like, dealing with sales, like, shipping, marketing, like, pretty marketing. much running the entire business and running an entire brand. We didn't have any prior experience to that, so, like, learning how to do that 
in a, in a new country, not knowing the language very well, and um, yeah, just pretty, pretty, pretty great. Just new to the entire experience. That was like a huge difficulty for us. Yeah, everything was like just trial and error. That took that took about a year. Yeah, that was like a year. That was a like, year of actually like just going around everywhere in Korea. Like, even like bus, yeah. four hour bus, four hour bus rides, like different factories. Yeah, so like finding organic dye was one challenge, and then actually even figuring out like the markets within Korea was a whole other challenge. Like like just where to find buckles or like you know where to find good leather. All that was like a bunch of trial and error. The whole production thing was, it's kind of, it was just a blessing that we were in Korea doing it because most of the production right now all moved to China. And China's dealing with huge quantities. And we couldn't get anything done out there being a small, like, you know, emerging brand. So yeah, being in Korea, like, um, the proximity of all the markets being close together. Yeah, that's huge. Meeting with uh, factories who deal in small quantities. And uh, that was really, the, maybe the, one of the few reasons that like Issei even like was it possible, you know? Yeah. So sure. yeah, we overcame like a lot of stuff. Like